It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help you find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Oh, no need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs or ritual stargazers. <laughs> It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are... Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Revelio. Hmm. A little... A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's you just must. not as uh, tidy as I expected. Lumos. Lumos! More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be ringing them up? Oh, no. Not this close to the school, Emmett. Lumos. Lumos! Lumos. Look! There's a table! I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin-cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. of a wizard who is being harassed by Halo. He may... A 
provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We should speak with... <sighs> Never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? here looking for Mr. I pressed on the guarding Salazar Slytherin scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. Is this Mr. Brickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Halo. We need to speak with him. could Archie have gone? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... when my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? <laughs> um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, I, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Achi home. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. Oh. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Halo. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. Revelio. We will need something more. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly.
cross paths with that wolf pack. We should look around. Archie Satchel! Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Halo must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Halo kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Revelio. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. Beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestral's too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I Bella. still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... Mm. Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. what they deserved. Revelia. You don't think he saw it happen, do you? He's just a child. We should release him. This is the sort of thing that could draw unnecessary attention. Oh, oh, oh. No, I can't. Thank you. Oh! Arrested! 
sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Achi. Sorry. We need to get this open. Alohomora. So sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Friends, darling. Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. We don't want to worry you. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something.
Alohomora. Ravenia. Rebellion. Alohomora. Lumos. Ravenia. Rebellion. Alohomora. Rebellion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Zelia. Rebellia. Pavelio. Rebellion. Aloha Mora. Rebellion. Rebellion. Revenia.
Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. Rebellion. Revenia. Rebellion.
Velia.
Alohomora. Revenia.
Two pinches of Angelica or three? Rebellion. Thank you for your persistence and cleverness. I confronted Piers about it and he confessed straight away, the old rascal. <laughs> We've agreed to let bygones be bygones. Uh, don't forget to say hello the next time you're in the Three Broomsticks. Thrilled to be back there again. You're here. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new.
I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. There he is. Good luck. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about... What was it? A scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favourite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pure blood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here, and I confess. You've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian, over here! These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with three. Three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, ominous. Something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. Dark, ominous corridors. My favourite. No comment. Come on, that was a good one. Looks like a locked door. We may want to look around. A journal entry. Signed by not... The parent. Rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. The voice is ancient. You hear a voice? It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. 
I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. Believe me, I am having thoughts, but I'm still convinced we should go ahead. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely. Rebellion. Confringo. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being... Poor Aunt Noctua. Focus. Art Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. Lumos. the symbols did open it. was about to do that myself, but you got to it first. <clears throat> nice work. Noctua references painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian.
That sounded promising. Lumos, another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Another, not the welcoming sort, was he? Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Ominous, your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did, and she was my favorite person in the world. Lumos. Spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. The gate! I think we're locked in. Again! Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. A skeleton, and Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? You know him better than I do. Very well. Wish me luck. Wish we had some liquid luck. Ominous, I know this is the last thing you want to do. Yes, it is. I thought you knew me better. But this is different. Whoever you cast it upon would have agreed to it first. It wouldn't be an innocent victim. We have to open the door. The spell won't work unless you mean it. That's true of all Unforgivables. If it must be done, then one of you must cast it. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast it if I have to. I want to learn the curse, but I won't cast it on you. You need to cast it on me. I shan't forget this. Ready? I'm ready. Right. 
are you all right? That pain. It was excruciating, but I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. We found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. I can't believe we're here. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. I've been getting an uneasy feeling about this place. We shouldn't linger here. Let's find a way out, please. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. your way out. Best news I've heard all day. Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you.